Hi folks, Max from Galaxy Note 3 Root.com for this week's Team Mobile uh, and also Canadian Rum of the Week. Um, now let me begin that uh, I am having some issues when um, installing uh, Team Mobile ROMs on the GTI 9505. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, um, but I think it has something to do with the radios and modem. Uh, once I figured it out, I will also recommend, I'll have an update on my site. But for right now, um, Team Mobile should be compatible with Canadian because they use the same AWS bands. Um, so they should be compatible. As for GTI 9505, they're also compatible, but I'm having some issues, so I don't recommend it at this point uh, to flash Team Mobile ROMs on GTI 9505 and also GTI 9505 ROMs on the Team Mobile. Uh, but once I've tested all that, um, I should have an update. But for now, you can go ahead and install this on Team Mobile or Canadian, and let's get on with the. Uh, ROM of the week here. Um, Jedi Elite ROM. Uh, for those of you who've followed me on the Node 2 root site, um, you probably know Jedi X was probably one of the coolest ROMs um, because it has a ton of features and, uh, you know, based on, still based on the original Samsung firmware. Um, this is based on the T Mobile Sam uh, Samsung firmware um, and um, you will still get uh, Wi Fi calling, um, which is nice. And uh, you should get Wi-Fi calling. Yep, it's working just fine. Um, and uh, very nice ROM. Uh, PTMR3 has done an excellent job of um, tweaking the TouchWiz a little bit. So you get the little bar at the bottom. And you get a nice 5x5 five five, so you have more room for your apps. Also 5x5 five five, uh, app drawer. So that is very nice. And also you'll notice you get two cameras. Let me go ahead and um, make it alphabetized. Um, you get two cameras working out of the box, flawless. So you get Android 4.3 uh, camera, which you can record videos. Um, you can also uh, do Photosphere, everything working flawless out of the box. So that is nice. Uh, and also let me go ahead and show you some other stuff. Um, it's pretty much, you'll, you'll still be able to keep all of your stuff. Um, you get the nice pen, pen window manager app. Um, included so you can go ahead and include these for all of your pen windows favorite windows um, you'll be able to add these windows now right now only six are app apps are uh, supported you can go ahead and use pen manager to add more apps I have a uh, tutorial guide on that so check that out and uh, you'll see the sounds you just probably heard some sounds there that's kind of like the lightsaber sound which is kind of cool uh, also new um, and also you'll get Jedi ROM tricks, uh, which will allow you to get keyboard switcher, LMT Pi controls, I have a full tutorial guide on that. Um, I think I did activate it. Oh, you know what, I didn't auto start it. There we go, and you, you can do this and you can go to home or you can put uh, your shortcuts, all that good stuff uh, with Jedi ROM tricks. And there should be more coming in the future version. I'll have an update. Also, floating notifications. If you want floating notifications, I have a full tutorial guide on that. Also, uh, expose installer, go to framework. Uh, make sure you hit install update like this. Grant, okay. Uh, and then go to modules and enable um, app settings and when I'm exposed. Um, when I'm exposed, app allows you to customize your UI, add system shortcuts, all of that good stuff also app settings allows you to run apps and tablets phone mode i also have a full tutorial guide on that i'll have all of those tutorials on my site um just in case you guys are new to this uh, and also let me go over some of the cool stuff with it um does come with viper for android which i also have a full tutorial guide on that this is awesome awesome the most awesome android app you can only get with rooted uh, phones or with custom roms such as this uh, also when i'm exposed um, this will a allow you to add shortcuts like I was telling you. Eh, I'm not going to show it to you. Just watch my other video that shows you all the features. Um, also, Trickster Mod. And uh, this is great. It also comes with a custom kernel built by also PTMR3. Uh, it's getting very good at building kernels, which is, uh, I'm really proud of them. <laughs> anyway, a Saber N3 kernel. Um, this thing is awesome. You can overclock it. Uh, just use the trickster mod here. Um, go to the CPU frequency control. Um, turn on frequency lock. And you can overclock it up to 2.64 gigahertz. I haven't actually tried it yet. 
Uh, but see how far you can go and uh, run some quadrant tests and uh, do let me know what kind of scores you can get. But I'm sure you can get a ton of good um, uh, speeds there. And also, uh, you got a bunch of diff different governors. Um, Wheatley is one of my favorites of all time. Um, that gives you pretty good performance and pretty good battery life. So try that uh, if on demand doesn't give you the uh, best performance. Uh, also, it does support uh, fast charge. This will uh, disable your USB um, connection to your computer, but it will charge your phone much, much faster. Um, also, voltage control here. Um, to save you some battery life if you want and some additional stuff there um, overall it looks really solid uh, it's got pretty much everything you would want in a ROM and also uh, there is performance improvements on this one over stock um, it is much much faster and also um, for music player you've got uh, next music there and I believe the Samsung music has been taken out oh yeah um, that will actually work better with Viper 4 hand grade because the stock Note 3 music player does not work with uh, Viper 4 hand grade. So that might be actually a plus. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the Week. And it doesn't have a uh, hotspot tether hack yet. It should be coming. Also, um, yeah, I should have an update on how to do that soon. Uh, but do check it out for this week's ROM of the Week, uh, Jedi Elite ROM. You can install it on T-Mobile and Canadian. Uh, I have not tried it on Canadian, but it should work just fine because it is the same ROM or same phone. Also, you know, Canadian uses the same LTE bands, so it should be fully compatible. Just try it and do let me know. It should work uh, with no problems. Uh, and that's about it. And any anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. Do try this out, uh, this ROM on your T-Mobile or Canadian Note 3. And do let me know what you think. And as always, if you have a Galaxy Note 3, don't forget to sign up for my email list at the... Uh, GalaxyNote3Root.com. We update you once a week with Round the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button there. And I will see you guys soon. Uh, stay hoy on Android.